This is culture this too. So let's do some kind of culture this. But I think I'm going to limit myself to showing you some derivatives. Four out of the six derivatives are precisely what you might expect. The derivative of the sine is the cosine. The derivative of the hyperbolic sine is the hyperbolic cosine. Similarly, for the tangent, cosecant, and cotangent, you take the derivative form to those you already know, and everywhere a trig function appears, you replace it with a hyperbolic trig function. So the two trig functions that are noticeably absent from this list are the hyperbolic cosine and the hyperbolic secant. These derivatives are similar to what you might expect, but not quite what you might expect. The derivative of the cosh, the hyperbolic cosine, is not the negative hyperbolic sine. It is the positive hyperbolic sine. The derivative of the hyperbolic secant is not the hyperbolic secant times the hyperbolic tangent. It comes close to being that, but it has a negative sign in the front. And of course, it's no coincidence once the hyperbolic cosine had a different derivative than you might expect, the hyperbolic secant, which is the reciprocal of this thing, was pretty much guaranteed to also have a different derivative than you might expect. 